It's hard to argue against the idea that proper positioning carries great weight on the battlefield. Taking solid cover might even help in a difficult situation. This idea doesn't work when rocket artillery systems enter the battle. They can wipe any covering away with their accurate attacks. And there are some that can provide an entire field with covering fire while staying far away so now tanks can respond. What is that weapon? So first we'll tell you about the Caesar, a French 155mm self-propelled howitzer developed by Nexter. What can this newly baked Caesar boast of? The most important thing for artillery is the cannon, of course, and the Caesar has something to show off. On its steel shoulders, you'll find a modernized variant of the 155mm TRF-1. It's equipped with the Sigma-30 Autonomous Weapon Network and Targeting System. The targeting system includes a radar to measure the initial velocity, a built-in ballistic targeting block, and blah blah blah. Simply speaking, this cannon is armed to the teeth technologically speaking. Just imagine this literal fiery beauty can turn any fortified position or column of enemy armor into senders. Additionally, the vehicle can comfortably carry five people and it has AC. Let's talk more about that comfort. The vehicle has armor for rounds up to 7.62mm caliber and for shrapnel. That's enough to survive most attacks not considering direct tank fire. A huge plus compared to stationary howitzers is that the Caesar has an automatic reloading system. Its maximum fire rate is 6 rounds per minute and just one attack is enough to destroy any fortified place. But that's not all. Like the Warlord Caesar was praised for being able to multitask extraordinarily, this beauty can use a ton of warheads simultaneously. Its maximum firing range is 31 miles. This SPG's advantages include high mobility, significant firing range, and impressive firepower. Disadvantages include poor maneuverability off-road and a modern ammo supply of 18 rounds. The French stunned the world with their howitzer, but Germany stunned everyone earlier by showing off their PZH-2000. Here's an interesting fact, even the famous company Porsche that maxes luxury cars worked on this deadly cannon. They were involved in developing the engine and transmission. So despite its fairly hefty armor, this howitzer can move at an impressive 40 miles per hour. All thanks to the 8-cylinder, 1,000-horsepower engine located in the front of the vehicle. It has three fuel tanks totaling 264 gallons to provide fuel for 260 miles. The PZH-2000 was created on the base of the legendary Leopard 2 tank. Its body and tower have steel armor better than even the previous howitzer. The crew doesn't need to fear the 14.5mm caliber fire as well as large artillery fragments or even mines. The most important places are reinforced with reactive armor from above to protect against cluster bombs. The SPG is also equipped with protection for weapons of mass destruction with a filtration system, a fire warning system, and a fire suppression system, internal GPS navigation, and a radio connection. What does that mean? That even in case of a nuclear bomb strike, the crew will be relatively safe for enough time to escape into a safe place. This SPG's main weapon is its 155mm howitzer that's a bit over 27 feet long on a tower that can freely rotate. The barrel is chromicized with a special muzzle brake that decreases the brightness of the muzzle flash when firing. This is especially important at night when any brightness could give away your position. The howitzer is equipped with an automatic reloading system for 60 rounds, which provides a very accurate high firing rate of 12 rounds per minute twice as fast as the Caesar. Reloading can be done manually, semi-automatically, or automatically. Additional weapons include 7.62mm MG3 machine guns with 2,000 rounds, enough to stop any gorilla with a grenade in the bushes. Both sides of the cannon have four smoke launchers each, which adds additional flexibility for both offense and defense. The PZH-2000 can wipe out enemy locations like the Terminator even at night and it has night vision inside. Its targeting system has a TV and laser distance measurer. And finally, the howitzer's armor hides a highly advanced targeting module that can automatically calculate and find its target. Agree that it sounds like the best artillery in the world? But there's something even more powerful. The FH-77BW Archer is the most threatening Swedish weapon at the moment. 
This self-propelled artillery system is based on the Volvo A30D and is designed to destroy anything possible. An enemy minefield won't even stop this machine since it's equipped with a demining function. The system rotates into combat position and back in just 30 seconds, faster than any similar artillery system. The Archer can use a fire blast system when it fires a series of rounds in a row, but at a different barrel angle, which makes the rounds all hit the target simultaneously, just like a meteor shower. This guarantees the end of any fortified position. Additionally, by the time the rounds reach the target, the Archer will be long gone. The Archer is equipped with a 155mm FH-77B howitzer that's 27 feet long. Its maximum fire rate is 9 rounds per minute. That's a little less than the PZH-2000, but it's compensated by the reloading system that can fire 6 rounds in 30 seconds at various trajectories. Its maximum fire range is 18 miles with its normal rounds, but twice as far with the Excalibur-guided missiles. It's a very powerful, threatening weapon capable of wiping out any target. Accurate artillery fire is good, but there are times when you need to wipe out a huge area. Standard howitzers are too slow for such scenarios, and there isn't always time to calculate where your enemy is hiding. In that case, you need a multiple rocket launcher. One of the best is the M142 HIMARS that was developed by the legendary Lockheed Martin, by the way. Unlike previous models, the HIMARS can defend itself on all sides. It can set up minefields against land attacks and even hit air targets mid-flight. Unaware pilots are certainly unlucky here. Otherwise, this vehicle is best compared to the Russian Smirch. However, the American vehicle can be used as both a multiple rocket launcher as well as an operation tactical rocket system like the Iskander. It's a successful blend of the two systems. The cannon part is based on a Stuart & Stevenson wheeled armored truck with an armored cabin for the crew that's similar to the Caesars. Although the vehicle weighs 11 tons, it can comfortably reach speeds up to 53 miles per hour with enough fuel for 112 miles. Additionally, thanks to its small size, it can even be loaded onto a plane, significantly increasing its mobility. The crew consists of three people according to the developer and if necessary can be run by just one person. Targeting is done with the remote located in the cabin, but getting into firing mode in 10 minutes. And now for the most important part, the weapon. The cannon has six fiberglass launch barrels. They're connected to each other, letting them all simultaneously fire at the enemy. Disadvantages of this design include an inability to quickly reload. The warheads are all placed in containers at the factory and are then hermetically sealed but it can fire all types of MLRS rockets, including guided missiles. The warheads can vary as well from standard ones to cluster and even vacuum ones. The HIMARS has a firing range that seriously varies depending on the warhead from just 1.2 to 186 miles. We learn from secret sources that the US government is creating a roboticized M142 version that'll have an integrated electronic system for targeting and futuristic technology. It seems the system will be fully automized and the world's first drone of this type. Other countries will need to hide and learn these technologies or fall behind. This is where our video comes to an end. Leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the comments section is always available where you can tell us your opinion of the video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.